Hey everybody, welcome back. This is day five of the Golden Goblet. We're gonna play an exhibition game as the Blowfish, of course. We are we love Elvis, Jose, Carloca, Juan the Dragler, and Joanna Heat. I mean, come on, with a 102 mile an hour fastball, what can you say? Um, let's hit, let's hit it four times. One, two, three, four. Oh, Extreme Contact Specialist versus Extreme Contact Specialist. What a game. No substitutions required. We're, we're building a story about these uh, individuals here. I'm a little nervous about... Hold on. This, look at this guy's name. Donk O. It's almost a real baseball name. Oh, Keg, you can always rely on Keg. I don't think he's missed on on inning one, batter one this whole time. Now batting, the first baseman. Jimmy Rollins. Okay, we're, we're going for this one. We're going. Yo, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Take it back, Keg. No reason to get thrown out due to base running. Good power, solid contact, but you didn't get under it. You didn't get under it. It's a good pitch. It's on the corner, so I'm going to make you work for it a little bit more, but it's a good pitch. That's going to the gap. He might make it. Oh, what a play. You know what? That's a good way to get your mojo pumping. We're going to have you steal second on this one. It's a little hot, but we're going to have you steal second. You throw a curve, he's making it. Told you. Okay, we're going yard. Don't swing on that. Everybody head back. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Elvis loves to leave the building. No. Terrible. Terrible pitch. Give me something. Not good enough. On two pressure, I want to rattle you. I'm swinging on three. I don't mind swinging 3-1. You got to give me a pitch to swing at, but I don't mind swinging. That's you coward. You are a coward to walk Elvis. Sting. Next up, with a cut from his new batter box, Sting. Take it away. No. You're going to throw balls? I'm going to watch balls. That's close, but I, I don't like the break on that. I don't like the break on that ball. That one, I respect. I regret it. I don't regret it. I, I, I looked at the wrong batter, and now we got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Elvis? Elvis has gotten back to the bag! Me of little faith. It's a good pitch. It's a good pitch. We got the pitcher tense. I love to see it. Because you know what? That tension doesn't go away after one inning. Oh, that's me. That's, that's what hurts the most is that that's just me. You know what? Still a good inning where we uh, got ourselves out of a little... Uh, a little muck and managed to get some momentum. You love to see the muck to momentum situation there. Man, her curve is is killer. It's a killer curve. Catches him looking. He's like, oh my god, how am I gonna explain this to coach? Look at see, like it starts outside and you're like, that's a ball. And it curves back in. And you're like, what? Strike one. That's a textbook play. Anytime you can take the double step, you got nothing to worry about. Now, you've, you've been watching the other batters. You got yourself ready for a curve. I hit you with the fastball. Slider didn't look like it could possibly be in. Guess what? It's in. Guess what? You struck out. Three pitches and just got caught looking. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Rod, send him. I saw it. I said to myself in my head, I'm only going to take it if it's my pitch. I took it. That's a nasty foul, unfortunately. I saw it again. That one, not going to drop, but I can't be mad at myself. I, we, we saw that pitch coming 100% of the way. All right, Wanda, we're leaving you in, obviously. You're, you're insanely locked in. Two strikeouts already. <laughs> it might go, dude. It might go. Come on. We almost got the mythical pitcher home run. That's going. Cool. Keg, don't miss. He don't miss. That wasn't even a good pitch. I think that was like at our freaking toes. He still got there. All right, Jose, he's he's a power hitter. Little inside for my taste. That one's more my speed. Keg, you're going. 
I think you can go home. Let's push it. Let's push it. Okay, good, good luck, brother. He made it. He made it with, with standing up. Didn't even have to slide. All right, one for one with a single. It, you have to, if you see your pitch, you got to take it. It's just that simple. I was a little rattled. I kind of wanted to get settled in the box, but you know what? As a solid contact right to, uh, right to the gap in right field. Marvin's up, and the pitcher's rattled. Tense. Tense, that is. Oh, that was my pitch. That was my pitch. That was a good one. You had me guessing. That one was not a good one, but at least we're protecting the plate. Staying in there, protecting the plate. You know what? Fair enough. You, I saw it going, going super high, and I thought to myself, if that comes into the box, I'm willing to risk it. Oh, you anticipated a wild pitch, huh? You anticipate strike one. You anticipate strike two. How about the worst swing of your career on strike three? And then, there's more where that came from. Oh, I anticipated the slider. How about a low fastball with 97 power? How about a change up high and inside? We don't throw that too often. We're in their head. On, on defense, I have no concerns right now. Wanda, despite her relatively, you know, average starting pitcher stats, is doing a, a wonderful job at keeping these guys under control. I think we're going to have to throw this guy something. He's a ball player. Not bad. Whatever. He Low pitch. He hits better on a low pitch. Thank God for him that wasn't a high pitch. Hate to see how that would have worked out. Not my pitch. All right. Tension. He's ready. All we got to do is push him over now. An absolutely beautiful textbook double right to the gap. You, you, you might have been able to take him into third, but let's not get too risky. We got zero outs. We can afford to just sit on this one for a minute. All right. Who's coming up? Sting. A cut from his new album. Not my pitch. We're, we're going to rattle you. We're going to rattle you, Donk. That's a good pitch. I, I thought about taking it. It was a little higher than I thought, actually. That one, probably not takeable. But you know what? You made a good decision to bring this one back in. Not, not risk anything. Cheyenne, best of luck to you. That's a good pitch. We could have taken it. That's, that's not for me. That's for another player. Oh, that's not for me. I'm going to make you dip it. I'm going to make you dip it. That's dippable. It's dippable. She's getting the second. She's getting the second. That's an RBI double. Anytime you get a, an RBI out of Cheyenne, you say thank you. You just say thank you for that one. And we're just whittling them down. This is the whittle game. A little high for me. Dip it. Oh, that doesn't. that's not dipping enough for me. That is unfortunate. I don't know. We got good. I don't know. It's not going to make it. That being said, I think Cheyenne's taking it into third. It's not a great sack fly, but at least we got something out of it. Anytime you can move the needle like that, we'll, we'll be happy with it. And Wanda. Oh, no. They put in Immaculo Spectaculo. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me think about this. It's only the top of the third. She stays in. The kid stays in the picture. And you know what? We got it. It took us a long time. We thought we had it last time, but Wanda is so dialed. That's a two-run shot off pitch one from Immaculo Spectaculo. Dap him up. You and we've rattled him. Well, we've gotten him tense immediately. That's not going to help. Two pitches, two incredible hits. I mean, you can't stop Keg Gutterson from getting on base. Everybody knows that. I think you're getting the third. I think you're getting the third, Keg. I'm glad we didn't run for the double. This, this pitcher, we got to wreck his confidence immediately. That's, that's all I'm going to say about this. We got, we got to just... Don't let him throw anything. No matter what he throws, we're punishing because we can't let those stats ball out of control. We got to get inside of his head. Marvin, the cleanup. Good strike, good strike. That's your first pitch, unpunished. 
That's going down, dude. That's going down. You know what? Stay. Oh, we could have. We could have run. I, I screwed up. I tried to micromanage the base runners too much. Still, gray stuff. Elvis. Oh, if that wasn't a fastball, that was getting freaking creamed. Close. Very close. I almost swung at that, believe it or not. I'm embarrassed. What can you say? I mean, at this point, this pitcher's not going to be able to sleep tonight. We could have gone for second, but just getting a two-run single <laughs> on something that probably shouldn't have been swung on in the first place. Immaculo is just destroyed. Driving around downtown Blowfish City. Oh, you're going home. There's no reason not to send you home. Probably could have taken, uh, gone to third on this one as well. But, I mean, what are you going to do, right? You take what you can get. Cheyenne's back. A little high on that one. A little high. Just don't like it. I just don't like that one. I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> Immaculo. You came into the game just to get embarrassed. You came into the game just to get embarrassed, brother. What could you even say about that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rod is back up. You only had to get one out, brother. They put you in to get one out, and this is the way you've repaid your team. <laughs> oh, we're stealing. We're stealing on this one. No, I had such high speed, though. That's okay. The thing is, is, is a decent play because we're probably pulling Wanda off the mound so we can put in uh, Harry Backman next time instead. Um, even though she hit a home run, her stats don't lie. We're gonna we're gonna treat that as a miracle game. So we can put Joanna Heap on the mound. We can put Harry Backman in for her uh, for her batting next time. And hopefully just have another dynamite inning. Because, I mean, that... We got most of the heat on that one. Wow, what a waste. We got most of the heat on that one. Um, on two outs, which is just hilarious. She she is running out of steam here, you can tell. Ah, we could have jumped. It's all right. You, you know, being up by 13 runs in the third inning, it means you don't have to make those plays. And his speed was high anyway. I think he's going to try to steal second. I mean, at this point, you got to make something happen, right? He's going to steal no matter what. Maybe not. Let's go off speed then. Oh, oh, oh he got him. He got him. He got him. All right. Now, subbing out some uh, your pitcher when they have a home run is an interesting technique, but here we are. He's still rattled. Harry's up. Not my pitch. Give him something good. No! Oh, it's got heat! I don't think it's getting caught. Oh, my God. I mean, what can you say on this one? Harry Backman comes in for one play, hits a solo shot. The pitcher's going to be dead. Keg, don't miss, dude. You know what? Stay on first, buddy. Yeah, that was a great throw. I think you would have gotten us out. Even though that was a millimeter away from a home run, I think you did the right, you did the right thing. That's close. That's real close. That's more like it, though. What are you going to do? You got to get this pitcher out of there. Like, I'm hitting everything. I have like an 800 batting average against him. You got to pull him. Like, just as human decency, you got to get him out of there. He's only thrown 23 pitches. Why would you go for that? And yet it worked. You know what? I pulled him back. I, I think we would have I think we would have gotten got. I think we would have gotten got. It's Marvin Steed. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they had to put in someone new. The cleanup hitter with bases loaded. It's exactly what the situation you drew up in the bullpen. That's or in the in the dugout. That's not for me. It's closer, but I don't like it that much. 
I like that one. I like that one. So I'll admit, we, we ran badly. We got all of our runners jacked up. Um, but that's because I was waiting to see if it would have been caught. It's a little unfortunate. Um, I think we want a double steal here. So get ready, get ready for this. Okay, so they saw the double steal. <laughs> they let me take second. But, I mean, that's obviously bad. I really thought they would just throw to second and let me take home. It was nice to see they're still doing the little things right. I'm gonna make you pitch to me. I'm gonna make you pitch to Elvis. Elvis loves to leave the building, so be careful. I think that's getting caught. You, yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't really a sack territory, too, because it went to left field. Um, is this fifth inning? It's only the fourth inning, dude. Oh, Sting! Take it away. Why would you swing? Sting, don't swing. Not at that. Go contact. Stay, stay safe. We can't let this pitcher get away with this. Whiffer? Oh, no. I think he's I think you're getting home. It's close, it's close, but that's an 18 to 0. Oh god. Oh god. And the pitcher having tension is really all I could ask for. That's exactly where we want to be. That's gonna be another RBI. And as soon as you see that pitcher get below normal, like below uh, neutral, I should say, that's when you say we got to make him bleed. That's not going to... Oh, it's going to make him bleed. Let's go, dude. Harry Bagman, I think he's back up. He, he just hit a home run this inning. Ball inside. Oh, that's going to be it, though. Still, I mean, we are up 19-0. to zero. It's hard to be upset. So, Joanna Heater comes in for the fourth. And again, this is this is classic Joanna right here. She throws something, you know you can't let it go by, but if you swing, it's gonna be garbage. And you let her get away with throwing like almost no pitches to get an out. Look at that, like you just you can't Oh my god, Jose. Yeah, 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 yeah. We hold you back. Jose, what are you doing on first base, brother? All you literally like your job at first base is to hit home runs and catch the ball. I'm not saying it's easy, but like that's kind of like a summation of baseball to begin with. But you don't have, you don't really make a lot of decisions. We probably could have taken the double play there, but you know I've been rattled by missing some double plays in the past. Um, I I played I, when I was when I played softball, and I'm not saying this is not one of those situations. Like, oh come on, Barry Bonds, why would you swing at that one? When I was a uh, when I played varsity, oh uh, you're getting home. I think you're getting home. Yeah, and then I let you take second as well. Um, like I'm these these virtual players are better than I am. Let's put it that way, right? But simultaneously, I played I pitched and I played first base. First base is like being the CEO of the company when you're fielding. You do almost no work. All you have to do is catch the ball, and if you do it right, everybody's like. Like, you have a hand in every single play. I'm not hating on it. It's a dream come true. I'd, I'd debate that one. But Keg don't miss. He's five for five. <laughs> um, every, like, the shortstop dives to make a play. They throw it to first. All you do is put your glove in the right spot. And everyone's like, well, Ryan, great catch. You're like, thanks. I couldn't have done it without Derek Jeter over there. That's a great shot. I'm, I'm sending Keg home. He deserves it. Not quite a triple territory, but definitely an RBI double. Look at that. 20 to 1, dude. Marvin. Marvin Steve. Close. And by close, I mean way out. 
That's more like it. And just round the bases, buddy. Just round the bases. Pitching wasn't that bad because I played softball, so I did the windmill wind-up. And then on top of that, um, they only let you pitch two or three innings. Can't specifically remember. So no Tommy John surgery for me. Okay, that's not great. Never mind, it's awesome. <laughs> Look at his fielding. He's so tense. Oh, Sting, he's so dialed now. Three for four. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I kind of liked that one, but I could have waited for a better count. Oh, he's going. Dude, when Sting's got the bat popping, you know you're having a great game. I mean, this game is just insanity, really. 23 to 1. Cheyenne. Come on now. Come on. Rude. Less rude, but I didn't like it. I can afford to wait. Right to the gap. And you're to blame. We don't run. We don't run on that one. Straight from the bed. It's a one game. Slide into home. Get a brown stain. Inside. Honestly, we got to try to steal this one. I knew some heat was coming, but you still... You got to try. When you got a good base runner like that, you got to give him a chance. That's going to be a, a one RBI single. We can't get home on that one. But look at the pitcher. She's running home. I mean, Joanna Heater, you're, you're getting out of here. You, we need a second pinch hitter. You know what? Hog Porker. This is your time. That I didn't know you were releasing underhand. That's tough. That, that, it's tough to hit those underhands. Never mind. <laughs> oh, we were burned by the run differential earlier this week. Now we're loving it. Keg, I, I'm not even worried about him. And I don't, I don't think you can run it in, but I, well, they, they were going to throw the cutoff, man. You might have had a chance, but why risk it? All right, Jose, three for five. I mean, it's just a, a beautiful pitch. You see a beautiful pitch like that, there's nothing else you can do but to hit it. We're getting in on this. I mean, this is, this is getting into sad territory. He's an RBI dud, but I believe in him. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a pop fly. I, I don't know. It might have enough. It did not have enough, but it was really close. And we at least got the we got the trip to third on that one. It's not much, but it is. It did advance the runners. Marvin. Should never have taken it. And yet, there's another run. Twenty nine. All right, we're trying to get to thirty. Thirty runs. That was a fast pitch. For something with some break, that was a fast pitch. Elvis is only two for four. You're really gonna throw me three balls? You're gonna you're just gonna walk him. Alright. I mean you gotta do what you gotta do. Not much reason for us to have stolen the base. Stings back. Ball, that's inside. Embarrassing. I get it, like, you're scared. I might be scared, too, if I were in your position. Scared of setting a world record for worst game ever. No, 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 no. Come on, Cheyenne. It's to the gap! <laughs> Mojo down? Oh, no kidding. Rod's back up. He's only two for five. This is our weak link. Oh, I disagree. I disagree. Ball inside. He's so rattled already. Look, he can't even throw right anymore. You know what? Stay on third. Stay on third. If we can keep getting these singles going, I ain't upset. I ain't upset. 
Hog Porker steps up to the plate yet again. At some point, you just have to go like, you know, are we going to end this? Are we just going to give up? Because with the pitcher being so rattled, I, I'm telling you, I could pretty much just... <laughs> You're putting in another pitcher that's... You're, we've gone through their bullpen so much, they actually just put in a starting pitcher. So they have a huge debuff to begin with. And Keg Gutterson, he'll, he'll swing at anything at this point. He knows he's going. Let's go! It never... It never should have worked, dude. That's not my pitch. That's not my pitch. Oh, come on now. Come on. That might be an out. Oh, they just let it drop. They didn't even go for the slide. What, are you worried about making it 37 to 1? All right, this guy. It's like his third at bat this inning. You're throwing me like three mile an hour balls here. That's just not my pitch. I can afford to wait. Look at your sliders. What did I tell you? I mean... <laughs> I'm going to assume... Uh, I'm going to assume you might consider putting in a new pitcher. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> what is this, like, your, your ninth pitcher? Oh, it's over. It's over. That was a bad pitch to swing at, but I mean, come on, it's 38 to 1. This is one of the very few times I, I leave a Golden Goblet episode um, and I think to myself, we've probably got the gold sewn up on this one. I mean, a 37, I mean, it could change. They're not going to they're not going to win this one. And they would have to score like 20 runs just to make this not my best game ever in the in the two weeks so far. But, uh, I mean, it, it might not be a score of 37, but it's going to be pretty close. <laughs> I don't think there's any way we beat uh, Zeneron's score, unfortunately. You know, you don't get as many uh, star points for fielding or pitching. Oh, what are you going to do? You're, you're the ninth batter. I'm not too concerned about what you got going on over there. All right. So, uh, pretty good score. 38 to 1. 38 runs on 41 hits is also just insanity. Um, yeah, I mean... It's, it's pretty telling that we had a hitter go 7 for 7, and they didn't even make the top 3. That's a lot of star points. Maybe we did. We did beat Zenner on score. We're up there in, like, the top... We're almost in the top 100 exhibition games of all time. Well, anyway, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you watched all 28 minutes, I'm going to assume you did. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe. You want to see more in the future but mostly click that like button it sends a message to youtube hey this is a spectacular game you gotta watch it show it to more people apart from that go to goldengobble.net watch dan and mouth's perspectives at uh, their respective youtube channels and i'll see you tomorrow for day six see ya